A lot of people consider an income property as a way to fund their retirement. You need to have cash coming in so you've got something to pay the grocery bill. And an income property is different than having your investments in exchange traded funds or stocks in an RSP. The positives are twofold. First off, cash flow. So if you've got an income property and you've got it structured such that there's excess cash, then there's gonna be money coming in that uh, provided your tenants stick around, you can rely on and can help pay for the life that you want in retirement. Second, depending on what you've bought and the tenants that you have, that return on investment could be higher than the other options that you could put that money towards. So say you've got an income property and it's uh, you know fully occupied over time, it's in a great neighborhood, you're able to charge a lot of rent, that could be a better return on investment than you might see in the bond market or the stock market or investing in a business, for example. Now, the negatives are also really important to consider here. And I'm going to go back to the return question. Is that really the best place for your money? So let's say you bought a residential property and you're going to rent it out. There are costs of owning that building. You might need a new furnace or a new roof. Maybe your uh, place isn't fully occupied all the time. And so all that factors into whether or not the return is going to be better on an income property than it would be if you just stuck, the, stuck that money into an exchange traded fund. The other thing about an income property is that it exposes you to a certain level of risk. Risk that your tenant won't pay, risk that your place will be vacant, uh, and risks are in the real estate market. So the place that you've bought might uh, be in a neighborhood that doesn't grow and expand and appreciate in the way that you hoped. Those are risks that you won't face if your money was in a different asset class. The other factor, and I think this is probably the biggest one you'd hear from people who own income properties, is the hassle factor. Are you willing to receive that call at two in the morning when your tenant says their furnace doesn't work and you need to get over there to figure out what went wrong? So when you think about whether or not an income property is gonna make sense for you in retirement, factor in the math and the cash flow and the returns, but also what you're willing to do in order to keep your tenants happy. If you happen to be handy and you love nothing more than going around and tinkering with the plumbing, it could be a great fit for you. But if you wanna avoid all that kind of work and don't wanna pay for a property manager to do it, it might not be the best idea for your retirement income.